I hope you guys are all having a tremendous day. Easy Auto Fix here, and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad mass airflow sensor. The purpose of a MAF sensor is to read the amount of air coming into the engine. The ECM then uses this data to calculate the best air slash fuel ratio for combustion. The MAF sensor will typically be located on the air intake before the throttle. Here's the location on a Nissan Sentra. Here's the location on a Volkswagen Passat. And here's the location on a different Volkswagen Passat. Not all cars have a MAF sensor. Yours might come with a MAP sensor. Click on the link at the top of this video to check it out. So the easiest symptom to figure out if your MAF sensor is bad is by noticing the check engine lights on. Here are some codes related to a bad MAF sensor. You can read these codes by going to the parts store near you and they'll most likely do it for free. Or you can buy the scanner that I have that's worth it linked in the description below. Now there's times when the engine light doesn't come on but the sensor is still faulty. So let's move on to the next symptom. The second symptom of a bad MAF sensor is a no start. If the MAF sensor is giving a bad reading of less air coming in, then the ECM will command less fuel. But in reality, there's more air coming in, so the ECM should have been commanding more fuel. This results in more air than fuel ratio, which causes poor combustion and gives us a no start. The third symptom you might be experiencing with your car is a rough idle. Let's say your car starts at odd times and you drive it only to figure out that you feel your car shaking when it's at a stop sign or a red light. The reason for this could be the same factor. The ECM is getting a faulty reading of less air coming in, therefore it commands less fuel, but a good working MAF sensor should have been reading more air so it should have been adding more fuel. This ends in more air than fuel ratio, which results in poor combustion efficiency with a couple of misfires, which explains the unwanted vibrations. The fourth symptom you might be experiencing with your car is bad fuel economy. Now let's flip the script here and say the MAF sensor is giving the ECM a faulty reading of more air coming in. This will result in the ECM commanding more fuel but the real reading should have been less air coming in, so the ECM should have been commanding less fuel. Now since the ECM got tricked by a faulty MAF sensor, the result ended up being more fuel than air ratio, which means the ECM is using more fuel than what is actually needed. This can be the reason why your fuel economy has been suffering. This leads me to my last symptom, black smoke. Due to the previous example of more fuel being used than what is needed, the leftover fuel gets kicked out of the exhaust, which gets burned and turns into black smoke. Now if your MAF sensor is dirty, instead of buying a new one, you can just clean it yourself. I'll leave the cleaning chemical in the description below. If I helped you guys out in any way, please do me the favor, like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.